everyone. Um, so I went ahead and uploaded the images I shot of Michael um, from that Surrealist shot. And um, it was only after I shot them, and I think I was in the process of uploading them, that I realized I made a big mistake. Um, and funny, funnily enough, Michael actually noticed it during the shoot and said nothing. Thanks, Michael. But he made it, I'm so glad he made the suggestion of doing this shot of like him kind of connecting with the, the watch this way. I actually prefer that anyway. Um, but if you go back and look at the watch, okay, so he's, it's kind of obvious, he's reaching up, I, and this was my fault, I directed him to do this, I asked him to reach up in this direction, and remember the light is coming in from the window over here, and <laughs> so he's reaching up to kind of like hold up the watch in this direction, and then I went down and looked at my shots of the watch, and I'm like, uh, duh, the watch is, the, the handle's in the other direction, and the light is hitting from this angle. So I can't even switch things because the shadow is going in this direction in this picture and the shadow would be going in the same direction in the other picture. But if I took him and like flipped him, the shadow would be all messed up too because he's being eliminated a certain way. But again, it's I'm just really, really relieved because again, I paid attention to his suggestion and I've got this great shot here, which I think is gonna look really, really cool on the top of the watch. Um, I definitely am glad I also shot lots of photos of the watch because I was looking at them and I'm like, that one's pretty good, but like that one's out of focus. Um, and, and I did, you know, I didn't do that on purpose, but um, when you're shooting macro, um, any wiggle on your shutter speed is gonna create problems. Um, and I, I, it was too, close that it was hard for me to use a tripod so I'm but I'm really happy with some of these shots and I think I'm just picturing him on top of this watch kind of trying to mess with the surface and I think it's going to look really really cool so um, that's the next step obviously so you have to pick a background image and obviously an image and I'm I'm really happy with this one and I think I'm going to go with of all these I don't know there's something about that I, I do like how you can kind of see the minute hand in that one. So I'll probably go with something like this because it just kind of makes it look like he's interacting with that a little bit more. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. And I think that's what I'm going to use.